Hello and welcome to the RoboPark Okme Group's digital channel Tech Lab Plus. For those who don't know us, we are the world leader in end-of-line packaging machinery, a group that employs more than 1,500 people, 9 production plants, 15 commercial branches, but above all can boast an installed fleet of more than 150,000 units worldwide which daily contribute in a technological, innovative and sustainable way to the multiple packaging operations that take place in every company in the most diverse product sectors. Today we have the pleasure to show you how RoboPack Machinery Solutions can help improve packaging operations in the wine and beer sector, minimizing the expenditure of economic, physical and environmental resources and ensuring the utmost care for the product handled. Technological, innovative, eco-sustainable solutions for the entire production process, from the collection of raw materials to the delivery of the finished product to the point of sale or directly to the consumer's home. Before leaving, I'd like to remind you that you can ask us for information at any time during the live broadcast in the chat area of the digital platform where we'll be more than happy to provide answers to you live. If you are interested in one of our solutions for your company, we will be even more pleased to have our nearest official distributor contact you for expert advice. Let us now dive into the world of wine and beer and find out together what solutions the RoboPark machinery can offer you. To do this, we have asked the two experts a few questions and we hope you enjoy the show. Name, Claudia, Filiberto, profession, product manager, product manager. What's your favorite drink? Wine, beer. What is the most commonly used packaging in the wine sector? Boxes capable of supporting high weights. What about the most widely used packaging in the beer industry? Sturdy boxes, trays for cans or even drums. Two technologies suitable for this packaging. Wrapping and taping machines. Wrapping and taping machines? So how's your favorite drink packaged? I'll show you the wine. Come with me, we'll discover it together. Here we are, as you can see behind me, I'm showing you today the Star Box, which is our manual box former, and our TBDE, which is a taping machine from the RoboPack family. Now the Star Box in particular is a box forming machine which closes the flaps automatically. This speeds up the box closing process by up to 50% of the time. What's more, this machine allows you to reduce the work in space in a winery or production facility by having a flap blocker that keeps the box stabilized for filling, in this case, as you can see, wine bottles. Another very useful element of our star box is the pedal that you can look at this, that you can see here, as it allows you to pass the box through the taping machine by simply pressing it. Now, in this way, we further optimize the operator's time and working space. So, why have we chosen to show you the TBDE? Well, T and B stands for top and bottom, because, as you can see in detail, there are conveyor belts on the top and on the bottom. What does this allow? Well, once the box has been stabilized and filled with bottles of wine, it allows it to be held very firmly because, you know, we tend to have, you know, very narrow, tall, extremely heavy boxes in the wine sector. A distinctive feature of our taping machine is definitely the upper and lower taping head, which allows, thanks to a soft touch system, the tape to adhere perfectly to the box. In this way, even if the box is extremely heavy, as in our case with wine bottles, it will 
be absolutely stable and reliable in transport. I can show you now the final result. This box containing the six bottles of wine, as you can see, the packaging is absolutely reliable despite the heavy weight. Today you've seen a demonstration of a box with a classic tape, but of course all our taping machines are compatible with a type of paper tape. In this way we support a little bit of what is a very important topic, namely sustainability. I would also like to talk a little about the other types of machines we have. When our customers need very high productivity, we naturally do not suggest manual machines, like the one I have just shown you, but we do suggest purchasing automatic machines, for example the Superbox. Now the Superbox is our automatic box former, which can form up to 12 boxes per minute, i.e. 720 boxes an hour. We usually sell the Superbox together with a taping machine, also automatic, which is called flap closer, as it allows the flaps to be closed fully automatically. Now that we've seen how a box is formed and taped, let's look at the solution RoboPark can offer for the end of line and transport. This is the Robo S7. Now, the Robo was the first machine that RoboPark made in 1984, and in all these years we have developed seven versions. This is the last one because we've been able, thanks to the suggestions of our customers and the experience in the field, to optimize the performance of this very powerful machine. As you can see behind me, we have a pallet of wine boxes. It is a pallet that weighs more than 1000 kilos and contains about 800 bottles, so it's a very heavy pallet. Thanks to the patented multi-level control system, it is possible to distribute the film on the pallet in such a way as to stabilize the load, according to precisely the type of product we have to pack. It's a self-propelled machine, so it is very flexible, we can easily move it to any part of a winery or production facility without much effort, and what's more, it has a battery that allows it to run and pack up to 250 pallets. The configuration of Robo S7 that you can see behind me has a device called pre-stretching trolley, which allows us to optimize the use of film through pre-stretching of up to 500%. Now, let's see how it works. I'll see you in a few minutes. Claudia took us to a wine cellar, Fili Berton. Would you show us how the beer is packaged? I'd love to. We're going to a farmhouse brewery. Follow me. Here we are inside the farm brewery. Behind me you can see the magnificent production plants. Now how do you transport beer from the production plant to distribution? Well the ideal solution would be a transport like this one, which we see in the overlay. It is not yet possible while we're working on it. In reality transport is done in tanker trucks like this one, or on trays of cans, the ones we find in the supermarkets. 
Now, very common are the boxes with bottles inside, again placed on pallets. Recyclable crates are also used, again with bottles inside, but today we're going to see the wrapping of another type of beer transporter, that in kegs. Follow me. Here's the pallet of kegs. You see, we have 18 kegs of 25 litres each, given a total weight, and therefore beer, on this pallet of around 450 kilos. It's a bit of a difficult product to transport because it has a very high centre of gravity and therefore has to be wrapped very carefully. The first winding will be the manual winding that I'm going to show you, which is, uh, you know, this one here with the reel in my hands. I wore gloves for that. Let's try wrapping from the bottom. See, there, that's where the back really hurts. Let's have another go. Now, what I want to tell you before we finish wrapping is that this wrapping is very subjective. It depends on the operator, how much he or she wants to pull or needs to pull the film. It will not be repetitive wrapping, so it will be very uneven pallets in stock. I will continue the uh, wrapping and we will see what happens. Okay, there you go. You can pull at this stage, but it is a bit tricky. At this point I stop, although most of the time you could also repeat, you know, the wrapping process on the way down. So this kind of manual, you know, winding or wrapping is really cheap, but the quality and the tensioning or the stretching really leaves something to be desired. Now, for this reason, I want to show you what a rubber pack solution for a semi-manual winding can do. Now, I will show you. Here's the winding solution with the semi-manual method. This is why I introduce you Rapman. It's a machine that Robopark has already launched on the market seven years ago, and basically it will help me to pack. So the machine will take care of the most difficult stages, stretching the film, for example, at the bottom of the pallet or at the top in taller products. Basically, the operator will push the machine, but the movement of the trolley will be thanks to an electric motor controlled by a battery and a very convenient button here on the helm. Let's move on to the demo. Okay, here I will just stop for a moment to point out that the machine has a 100% pre-stretch uh, trolley or carriage which doubles the length of film available and will therefore allow us to limit machine downtime. It's a truly ergonomic machine, even the left handle, which is the one I need to push the machine around the pallet, is adjustable. It's a great solution, but remember, you still need the operator with the machine to wrap pallets like this. Now, I'm going to present you the semi-automatic solution, I'll see you in a bit. Here it is, this is a Robo S7. This is the semi-automatic solution that Robopack offers to the market for wrapping products on pallets. In this case, it's a machine with an internal battery which allows you to wrap up to 250 pallets on a single charge. What I would like to point out is that this machine has a software device on the touchscreen multi-level control patented by Robopack, which combined with the PBS pre-stretching trolley will allow us to set the tensioning, stretching and pre-stretching differently on the pallet and save a lot of film. The other very important thing about this machine is that it can be equipped with a variable creasing device, as in this case, which will lower the film strip, make it a strong and elastic string and thus allow us to hold the drums or kegs together on this wooden pallet. I will switch now to the demo and show you the result immediately. Let's see what we have just seen. We've seen a manual system. You can see here what we have just done. But 
In terms of, you know, the health point of view, it's really difficult. This is not ergonomic. It causes backache and the pallets come out really badly. With Rapman, on the other hand, with the semi-manual packaging, the position of the operator is very comfortable, not to mention the S7 Robo, which also allows the operator to be away during the wrapping phase because the machine is completely autonomous. From the point of view of time, we took 150 seconds with manual wrapping, and instead we reduced the time by about, well, by more than 10%, well, actually 13% to be precise, with Rapman wrapping, and 33% with wrapping thanks to Robo S7. Consumables, so how much film did we apply? With manual packaging, we had to use 466 grams of film, while we went to 280 grams of film with the 100% pre stretch or Rapman, and even imagine only 93 grams thanks to the motorized pre stretch, 500% pre stretch with the Robo S7. It's easy to think about cost reduction. We reduce costs compared to manual with Rapman by more than 20%, but even by 60% with Robo S7. It is easy to think about the benefits that we can have by using these semi-automatic machines. That's all from the Farm Brewery, see you in a bit. Now, are these the only solutions that you have proposed them? Oh, no. No, let's see the wide range of machines produced by Robopark Come Along. Here we are inside our tech lab. Behind me, you see the large family of Robopark rotary tables, Echo Plot, Master Plot, Rotoplot and Technoplot. Thanks to the three available bases, standard 77mm high, LP only 30mm high and TP3, it will be possible to load wine and beer pallets with all the manual and electric automatic trolleys and especially forklifts. Also, inside our tech lab we can see the big family of rotating arms made by Robopark. With the rotating arms it's possible to wrap unstable or very heavy pallets because they will rest on the floor. At this moment, we see our Master Wrap HD wrapping a pallet of excellent red wine. What happens to all the empty cartons that I use for drinks? Robopark has a solution for this too, let's see. This is a recycle RoboPack solution for reducing the volume of waste materials such as this cardboard that you see here. Not only cartons, but separately, it is also possible to significantly reduce the volume of waste film resulting from depalletizing. The volume reduction can be up to 80%. It is a very robust machine, you just think it weighs 700 kilos, but at the same time it is very easy to move thanks to its four wheels. The control panel is very intuitive, it has a few functions but very clear. The display shows the filling percentage at all times, so it's very easy to see how much more material it can take in. The machine will automatically switch on this flashing light and tell the operator when to insert the film for cutting. Then we will see it in operation, a very useful machine indeed. Let us now see how it works. We are feeding the machine with cardboard. We are feeding more cardboard. The blinker is now telling us that we have to manually take the film that will wrap the bale so we put a meter, a meter and a half of it inside the belt. At this point the bale will come out from underneath. The safety flap is opening, the bale will automatically roll onto the floor. Here's the bale. Good job. Bravo recycle. Well, at this point, having seen the presentations, what is the best solution for packaging your product? Robopack.